today i am going to talk about prototypes based on their interactivity level okay so paper prototypes they are not clickable they are not interactive that much you have to uh, manually swipe your slides and your screens away and in front of your user okay so there are few more types of prototypes you can create but not with adobe xd with other softwares but i wanted to mention it over here okay so number one is our sketched or paper prototypes they are the lowest level they are you know you need to transition them manually and then we have clickable prototypes like we can create in adobe xd uh, you can click uh, create clickable prototypes once you click and you go to next screen and the next screen or next task and then we have few more uh, prototypes that are called live prototypes and coded prototypes now code prototypes they are based on html and javascript uh, if you have used uh, there is a software called uh, exor pr and it is mainly for uh, coded uh, prototypes and i have created like uh, three or four years ago few coded prototypes for some of my clients now coming to another type of coded prototypes that are called live prototypes live prototypes are connected to the server actually and they are going to get uh, the database and everything they are going to fill up whole, the whole screen with the real data okay so they are not you know uh, like uh, live uh, coded prototypes or dummy prototypes they have actual live data uh, now if why do we need these live prototypes because we need to test how is the server response and how our uh, user is going to interact with the real data and in real time uh, what were the delays and how user is going to view or um, get problems with those delays okay so uh, in all these different prototypes there is also the level of fidelity low fidelity mid fidelity and high fidelity now these three levels they are basically uh, tells the uh, designer or user that how uh, deep is the level of detail okay so low fidelity means that there will be almost no detail uh, they they will be just few boxes like we created block level layouts in uh, the previous lessons and in the mid level there will be wireframes without any colors or any typography one simple typography and these are for testing users to see what the text on the button should be or uh, what uh, the text uh, the labels of your form fields whether they are working or not so there is no color so user or the a uh, person who is testing your website or evaluating your website he is not going to uh, say that i don't like this button uh, there is this color is not very good so they are not going to talk about colors typography or the visual design aspect of your uh, prototype okay they are going to talk more about uh, that this information is not related to the user or the information architecture of this website or the top navigation bar is not accurate things like that now the high fidelity mockups or clickable mockups or high fidelity wireframes or mockups they are mostly called high fidelity mockups they are basically to uh, give the detail to the user about every element whether the button is clickable uh, or the uh, the color of this this button is likable by the user do the user really trust this website so the visual design aspect will be tested in this uh, high fidelity mock up okay so these are three levels of details of uh, these uh, uh, wireframes or mock ups or prototypes so i hope you have enjoyed this lesson if you have any questions do ask me let's move on to the next lesson